The problem asks us to find the voltage VO in the given circuit diagram using the superposition theorem. Let's first look at the circuit. On the far left, we have a 2 ohm resistor, and the voltage across it is labeled VO, with a positive terminal at the top. This 2 ohm resistor is in series with a 3 ohm resistor. In the middle of the circuit, there is a 4 ampere current source, with the arrow pointing upwards. To the right, there is a 5 ohm resistor in series with a 10 volt voltage source, with its positive terminal at the top. The superposition theorem states that in a linear circuit with multiple independent sources, the total response, in this case, the voltage VO, is the sum of the responses caused by each independent source acting alone. So, we will find the voltage across the 2 ohm resistor due to the current source first, which we'll call V1. Then, we'll find the voltage due to the voltage source, which we'll call V2. The final answer, VL, will be the sum of V1 and V2. Step 1, finding V1, contribution from the current source. First, let's find V1, which is the voltage across the 2 ohm resistor due to the 4 ampere current source only. To do this, we must deactivate all other independent sources. Here, we need to deactivate the 10 volt voltage source. A voltage source is deactivated by setting its voltage to zero which means replacing it with a short circuit, or a simple wire. After replacing the 10 volt source with a wire, our circuit changes. The 4 ampere current source is now connected to two parallel branches. The left branch contains the 2 ohm and 3 ohm resistors in series. The right branch now contains only the 5 ohm resistor. Our goal is to find the current, I1, that flows through the left branch. We can do this using the current divider rule. The 4 ampere current from the source will split between the two branches. The total resistance of the left branch is 2 ohms plus 3 ohms, which equals 5 ohms. The resistance of the right branch is 5 ohms. The current divider formula says that the current in one branch, I1, is the total current, for amps, multiplied by the resistance of the other branch, 5 ohms, divided by the sum of the resistances of both branches, 5 ohms plus 5 ohms. So, the equation is, I1 equals 4 multiplied by 5, all divided by the sum of 5 plus 5. This gives us 20 divided by 10, which means I1 is equal to 2 amperes. Now that we have the current I1 flowing through the 2 ohm resistor, we can find the voltage V1 across it using Ohm's law, which is voltage equals current times resistance. So, V1 equals I1 times 2 ohms. V1 equals 2 amperes times 2 ohms, which gives us 4 volts. Step 2 finding V2, contribution from the voltage source. Next, let's find V2, which is the voltage across the 2 ohm resistor due to the 10 volt voltage source only. This time, we deactivate the 4 ampere current source. A current source is deactivated by setting its current to zero, which means replacing it with an open circuit, or a break in the wire. After removing the current source, the circuit becomes a single series loop. The 10 volt source is connected in series with the 5 ohm, 3 ohm, and 2 ohm resistors. We want to find the voltage V2 across the 2 ohm resistor. We can use the voltage division rule. The voltage divider rule states that the voltage across a particular resistor in a series circuit is the total voltage multiplied by the ratio of that resistor's resistance to the total resistance. The total resistance in the series circuit is 2 ohms plus 3 ohms plus 5 ohms, which equals 10 ohms. So, the equation for V2 is, V2 equals the total voltage, 10 volts, multiplied by the fraction of the resistance of interest, 2 ohms, over the total resistance, 10 ohms. V2 equals 10 multiplied by 2 divided by 10. This simplifies to 2 volts. Step 3, calculating the final voltage, VO. Now we have the two component voltages. V1, the voltage from the current source, is 4 volts. V2, the voltage from the voltage source, is 2 volts. According to the superposition theorem, the total voltage VO is the sum of these individual voltages. So, VO equals V1 plus V2. VO equals 4 volts plus 2 volts. Therefore, the final voltage, VO, is 6 volts.